Hey guys, Rikos here, and today we are playing an interesting game called Hue. Don't know much about this, I saw a trailer for it on PlayStation Store, I saw it was on sale, so I said why not. Let's go ahead and press X to start. Okay, just gonna jump right into it, shall I? I got a letter. Dearest Hugh. Oh, I've had the most dreadful luck. Oh, yeah? I feel terrible that you've been left alone all this time. So do I. The traitorous Dr. Gray tried to steal the annular spectrum, a ring I developed to allow perception and alteration of color. Some call them impossible colors. <laughs> impossible for Dr. Gray, maybe. Oh, everything's kind of just gray here. Something went wrong. Did it? I turned a strange shade and became invisible. Oh, no. The ring, it... It fractured, scattering colored shards far and wide. I stayed at home for many weeks, watching, waiting, existing on this colored plane. I couldn't speak to you, nor interact with anything in the mono world. Okay. So I left. Okay. I left for the university where I hid away the colored tools I had created. I pray you have found what is left of the ring. So, wait, you said you were invisible. I can see you. Or is this a dream? I, I guess it was a dream then. It was all a dream. Oh, son of a gun! Hi. Hello? Hugh, is that you? Thank goodness I've been trapped for days. Help me get out of here. I keep hearing noises. It's creeping me out. Can't help you, bro. I'm gonna run away now. What's this? Oh! Cool. Whoa. Since the beginning. We have pointed to the sky and declared it blue. Blue. It is this shared vision, this unquestioned understanding which connects us. But are you really seeing blue the same way I see it? That's a question I ask myself. Perhaps blue is nothing more than a shade of grey to you. Perhaps everyone in this world sees nothing but shades of grey. Oh. Don't you see, Hugh? This, this is why we're here. You know, I actually ask myself that question every single day. Like, what is something that looks blue to me is actually green to you? Perspective. It's kind of weird. Can I get out of here? I can. The rocks. They, they, they just disappeared? I don't know how you did it. Who cares? I'm saved. Thank you. Well, get out of here, my friend. I'm going to show my true colors now. According to that trophy. What do you have to say, Mom? Enter a cave, expecting a waterfall. The chances are your expectations will be met. But if you discard those expectations, don't you think instead the cave will be full of surprises? Hmm. I ask for you, Hugh, to abandon your expectations. To pull me back from the brink of unreality. I need you to see the world not for what it is. But for what it can be. Thank you, Mom. I'll remember that. Why don't I just go this way? Yay! Physics! Uh oh. Protect me! Ah! It protected me. Thank you, Box! You're my friend, Box. No, run, 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 Ah, dang it. Run away from the rock. Rock is not my friend right now. Rock is not my friend. Rock is trying to kill me. So are the spikes that I just ran into. Fuck! Down the rock we go. Down the rock we go. 
Down the stupid thing we go. I had a feeling that would happen. Now what? Whoa, who are you? You Okay, you're just gonna walk away. Well then. Let's go follow him, shall we? Follow him up the stairs, up the stairs. Yeah, you got a new color now! Purple rain! God rest your soul, Prince. God rest your soul. Whoa! Strike shrinking violent. Hoi! Oh! They can hide the doorways now. Cool. Did you know, Hugh, that purple is at the very end of the visible spectrum? It's the hardest color for our eyes to distinguish. Huh. Now, imagine a shade one step further than purple. A color beyond what we can actually perceive. We call these impossible colors. And I fear that this, they currently reside. That's depressing. If reality is rooted in our perception, and you cannot perceive me. Do I even exist to you? I'm sure that I do. I mean, you're reading this letter, or or at least I hope you are. Technically not reading sorry, it, but, but listening to it. Existing in this strange state of impermanence does funny things to you, Hugh. It makes you question what is real. God, these letters are really depressing. Oh boy. Cool. It's like a little alternating colors there. Nice. Who are you? Where's my mom? Nice having a conversation with you, dude. Great conversation. Was this orange? Nice. Or is that yellow? No, it is orange. Don't doubt yourself. What do you have to say, Mom? The university gardens were bathed in an earthy orange light when I first met Dr. Gray. Summer had come and gone, and a cold autumnal crispness had caught me off guard. I sat on the grass, surrounded by my books and papers, when a cool breeze threatened to blow my notes across the lawn. A page escaped my reach and took flight. A man not much older than myself chased after it, catching it on his third or, or fourth attempt. I remember's gentle smile when he returned it. He started talking and I was surprised that he had read my work in the university journal. He said he was a professor and that he hoped we could work together someday. It's funny, Hugh, how something so small can change so much. Hmm. This is depressing. Dr. Gray soon became my assigned mentor. And I can't help but feel he somehow had a hand in it. Oof. Our fires burnt brightest when we worked together. It felt like we could achieve anything. See my dad? We discovered more about color than I could ever have imagined. We split light, mapped spectrums, we painted. We laughed. We worked long hours, and soon our goal became all-consuming. We were vessels. The work became more important than us, and we knew it. And somehow he turned evil. That's gonna be an interesting story to tell, I guess. Pull you over here, and then pull you over... No. There you go. Found it! There we go, now I can go in the Aw oh, man. Oh crud. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Okay. Then... Oh dang it! First things first, let's get this blue out of the way. 
and then get this out of the way, and then get this, and then get that, and then get this, and last one, and done. Wow, that actually worked. For now. Let's rock and roll. Oh no 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 no! Dang it! Purple is a time, and then we go to blue, and then we go to yellow orange. That is orange. Don't know why I did that. Tell you the truth. <laughs> Okay, not again. Ah, uh, screw it. Boom. Boom. Whoa, whoa, why is this going so fast? Why is this going so fast? Why is this going so fast? Stop, 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 jump! Got it. What are you guys worried about? I ain't worried about anything. Crap! What's next? Am I gonna give me another cloak guy? Oh, nope, I'm meaning skeletons. Skeletons hanging over here. Hey, watch it, buddy. You're not getting under my skin. Those guys are alive? Oh, that's weird. Phew! What's next? Okay! Hi, Mr. Cloak Guy. You're still creepy as hell. We're still having great conversations here. Boop, 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 boop. Running, 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 running. Top the stairs. Anyways. Final countdown. Is it a different shade of purple? Oh, is that purple, not violet? Oh. Usha. It's pinkish. That's kind of cool. Anyways, um, I think that's where we're going to end today. Mm, this has been Hugh. My name is Rykos, and if you enjoyed that, hit that like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. Watch my other content. Yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.